Okay, hello. Hello, everyone. So, uh, I think it's time we uh, go for all the prisoners. So we'll just put this on slow, because this is going to take a while. Right then, first up, McCabe. You can't just click on them? <sighs> okay. Oops. Dean, 7 iron. <laughs> McCab. So, he's 58 years old and he's a maximum security guy. So, uh, let's see what he did. So he bludgeoned three fellow golfers to death, golfers to death after one sneezed while was putting for the club record score. He missed. No one had owned up, so he killed all three. Hmm. So one sneezed when he was you know, setting a club record, and he sneezed, and obviously he missed, and no one would you know, say he sne uh, sneezed, and so he killed all three of them. Interesting. Okay, so he is certainly got murder isn't even on here. <laughs> Interesting. If they got the full stop there. So uh, there's assault for one year. He's done that. Rioting for nine years. Or oh, he had a uh, sentence of nine years. Then assaulting an officer for four. Violent disorder for four. Aggravated burglary for fifteen. Um. Apparently he's not guilty of these, but he was guilty of all of these, apart from this one. Hmm. So he could have been mis... Uh, mistrialed. Well, not mistrialed, but uh, wrongly accused. Now, torture? What? That doesn't mention anything about torture. Yeah, these convictions didn't really line up with uh, the, bio, uh, the biography there. So I don't know. Let's, okay, so let's move on to our next high security prisoner. Ian. Oops. Wanna move? So, uh, sentenced to 10 years for GBH, grievous bodily harm. Um, very serious offence. But not as serious as murder, obviously. So, before that, he had done, uh, oh, he's done three crimes before that, but he's pled not guilty for each one. So, he could have been wrongly accused or not, who knows. Um, probably not though, if he's pled guilty for uh, GBH. So vandalism, assault, and false imprisonment. Wait, what? False, he got 11 years for false imprisonment. Huh? Not sure about that one. Uh, okay, Curtis. Where are you, Curtis? Oh, there you are. Sentenced to twenty oops. Sentenced to twenty one years for uh, attempted murder. Hmm. Uh twenty so obviously pled not guilty, but he's been guilty for the last three crimes, which are perjury, violent disorder, and criminal damage. He's forty six years old. Wait, he's forty six. Twenty seven. Uh thirty two. Oh my god. 35 years he's got for his sentence. He's, oh, would have spent in jail. And he served 10.5 years already for this crime. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so he's been in jail for 20 odd years already. Wow. Okay, green. Sentenced to five years for false imprisonment. I'm not what false imprisonment. So he got five years because he was falsely imprisoned. <laughs> hmm. And seven years for robbery. He's thirty years old. And that's all. Scut. Where's Scut? Ian Scut. Thirty-five years old. Six years for right. Oh, he's done a lot of rioting. Six, seven, and six again. Wow. You'd think he'd learn his lesson, but he obviously hasn't. <laughs> um, wow. So, Carlin. Nice black box. Ooh, water saving. Um. Barry. Barry, Barry, Barry. Carlin. <laughs> Interesting middle name there, or a nickname. So, 
In the grim darkness of the far future, there was only bacon. Due to this, bacon was rationed. Barry, Barry, Barry was sent back in time to serve time for bacon-related crimes. In okay. <laughs> so, uh, Barry's from the future, or Barry, 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 and uh, bacon is, you know, the only food left apparently in the grim darkness of the far future. No, I mean, bacon being the only food left, I wouldn't call that grim. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Good old bacon. Oops. Um. So. Bloody hell. <laughs> He's done a fair few crimes in his days. So he was sent back to serve time for bacon related crimes. So I guess, because he was sent back in time, you know, obviously bacon related crimes, they're currently not in the legal system. So I think, you know, other time travelers, they came back and they set up these fake crimes so we could account for his. Uh, bacon related crimes. He spent quite a few years in prison already and he's got a fair few more to go. Uh, 20, 21 years to be precise left for his bacon related crimes. So uh, kids, if there's something you want to learn from this is in the future, bacon, very precious, and bacon related crimes are not something to be trifled with. So uh, blank name. <laughs> Blood Angel 5000, wow. <laughs> Early history unknown. Known crimes? Trying to start several wars in numerous nations around the world. Possession of dangerous weapons and vehicles, primarily tanks, and beating someone to death with a hockey stick. Wow, he's a... Uh, hmm. He's got an interesting biography there. So this guy, Blood Angel 5000, doesn't have a real name. Um, his secret code name, I guess. And obviously he's got a fair few things. Nothing, none of them to do. Well, he's got robbery, I guess, but it's not assault of a or robbery of a vehicle, automated machine. There, no, I can't remember the legal term was that before that is. Violent disorder, I guess that kind of matches up. Assault, not really. Assault's quite a trivial matter. It's like yelling at someone and saying you're going to hit them or some stuff like that, or actually hitting them. Um, burglary, well, I guess that kind of well. Stealing weapons from people's houses. Mm. So one thing I think I've noticed that the crimes won't match the biography so far. But oh well. Apart from the ones that are like pre-generated. So that one and that one, they were supporters apparently. Or well, I think they are anyway, because I've got custom names and stuff. So uh, let's see. Warren Pritchard. 19 years for aggravated burglary. He's done false accounting. Forgery. And indie video game part. Oh, that... That is not a normal security. You, you're high. You're max security now. Ah, <sighs> God, those criminal scums, <laughs> scumbags. Okay, so what have you done? Hmm. Another backer here. So Adrian, Adi, or Addy, Coxon. Okay, so he is a psychopath, a uh, psychopathic arsonist who sometimes causes GBH by beating people with a large stick span in parks. He says that's it. Well, there is nothing here about GBH or uh, arson, but, um, okay. I mean, it's rioting, so you can throw some arson in there, I guess. Um, violent disorder, forgery, criminal damage, torture, false imprisonment again. Hmm, inside trading. Interesting. So, apparently, if you were falsely imprisoned, you can go to prison for that. <laughs> Maybe I have got that completely wrong. I mean, yeah. That's my take on that. So who's up next? Court. Court. I don't know how you say that name. And where are you? There you are. Simon Quayle. Quarry? Quarrel? Quarrel Al? I don't know. Sentenced to four years of violent disorder. And before that he sold to the police officer, which he pled guilty and served his six years. And quite small, I mean... You've got the least amount of crimes, I think, out of all the people we've looked at so far. So, uh, try and remember that, see if we can uh, keep it running. Hmm. So here's another backer. Rex Locksmith uh, Rothwell. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Bang! Max security. Oh, no, no, it's just normal video game. Yeah, that's fine. That's normal. Sorry, uh, Rothwell. So, con man, thief, and murderer. This notorious man was born bad. At the age of 21, he had dealt with over 16 gangs, 
never costing him again. Born in the backwoods, he earned the name Locksmith by breaking into a multi-million dollar bank. Hmm. So, Arson for 24 years. I guess they couldn't find any proof about his uh, bank heist there. And before that, he served two years for video game piracy. <laughs> you, you've done well. You haven't been caught for any of the crimes you've supposedly done. So, uh, who's next? Um, invisible person. Oh. We're going to have to... I'm going to have to pause time here. You, guard, go down there. So we can see what's in those cells. Come on. Okay, cool. So, Charles... Wait. We just did Rafa, now we want Charles. Who's there? Definitely, yeah. Okay, Charles or Charlie Scant... Uh, Scantle Bur Berry. Burrow. Scanty... Burrow. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So here's another backer. Uh, he murdered a, my a man with an icicle. Hmm. But was never proven guilty. However, he shoved a rubber duck down the man's throat prior and they ruled it a suffocation slash, uh, slash drowning. Yep. Interesting. Oh well. I mean, that's certainly an interesting way to kill someone by shoving a rubber duck down a man's throat. Do you think it was like a big rubber duck? And so we only kind of got it halfway down? Or it was like one of those little ones? What colour do you think it was? Yellow? Yeah, they're all yellow. What am I talking oh, What am I talking about? So, uh, let's see. Aggravated burglary. 11 years. Hmm. Burglary. Burglary. Dangerous driving. Burglary. Driving under the influence. So all burglary and driving related with ones there. He's got a fair few, you know, cans of burglary. So he's certainly, uh, he's not quite the master thief as he's been caught a fair few times. I think you can stay normal. So, Dennington. There you are. Seen Dennington rioting for seven years. Or sentenced to seven years for rioting. Now you've done, you know, you haven't done too much. You have spent a while in jail though, bribery, nine years. One year for dangerous driving and two years for violent disorder. It's not far for his turn. And he certainly, I don't think he's the youngest prisoner we've had. Bus by. Bus by? There we go. Assault, five years. And before they had done burglary for eight. So, uh, you know, criminal, I guess. That's not too... well, burglary is quite serious, but salt isn't. So, um, maybe you should be minimum security. Have we actually got... oh, we do have minimum security. We'll see what crimes they have when we get there. But uh, not much to say about him, really. He hasn't really done much. There we go. Andrew Langdon. Sentenced two years for joyriding. Prior to that, four years for uh, joyriding again. And prior to that, 14 years for robbery. Hmm. Interesting. 39. He's getting on in his years. But, uh, joyriding at 39. Nice. Steel. Now look at that. This guy. You can just tell he's a badass. Look at those glasses. Sentenced to 6 years for assault. Oh, wow. He's got... He's got a fair few crimes here. Certainly not the most, but, uh... Oh, actually, maybe he has got the most. I don't know. He's 55. Wow, writing, vandalism, writing, violent disorder, assaulting an officer, violent disorder, dis uh, drunk disorder <laughs> disorderly behaviour. Ooh. So, oh, I forgot to set my phone off. Sorry about that. Assault again. And finally, his current offence, Assault, which he's only just started, pretty much. Six years, that's not too bad. A lot less than his last Assault. Hmm. Well, uh, the glass certainly went with his uh, crimes. So, uh, where's our next victim? Uh, criminal. I don't see you at all. There you are. Ooh, auto saving again? Why? We haven't done anything. We've just been looking at prisoners. Okay, Warren Pittet. 
Sentenced to 12 years for death by dangerous driving. And dangerous driving, aggravated assault, and cross, cross indecency, gross indecency. Hmm, interesting. Uh, 12 years for that offence. He's going to be here a while still. He's got about 10, a little under 10 years uh, left on the sentence. So we're almost through the normal risk. Whoa, that's an interesting name. Aston Gildridge. Gildridge? Gildridge. We'll just leave it at Gildridge. Writing for five years and before, uh, before that, criminal damage and assault. Hmm. I think we're going to start going through these faster because otherwise we're going to be here a long time. Oops, Skype, go away. Hope that doesn't show up in the video. Right, the interested main man. <sighs> hmm, BJ question mark run. <laughs> Skype, go away again. Middle name Tor. Speedio Langdale. Or Langden. Uh, Dalen. So, uh, BJ question mark run. <laughs> Was caught after four years of hacking, destroying computer systems all over the world. He caught millions worth of damage. When asked why, he did it. He simply said, "Blank." Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, obviously, nothing to do with criminal rate, uh, computer systems or hacking. But oh well, violent disorder, criminal damage. I guess. Kinda. Assaulting an officer, burglary, and assault. Handerson. Henderson. James Henderson. So this is obviously another, another um, backer here. A rather quiet individual. Henderson finds himself inside for embezzling company funds into offshore accounts. Was also found guilty of tax evasion. Real white collar guy that doesn't like getting his hands dirty. Mm. Certainly rocking the moustache there. Moustache? I think that's a moustache. Hope that's not his mouth. So, aggravated burglary, 19 years. So he's halfway through his sentence. And GBH for 14 years. Right, the last one. Jones. Jones. How many Jones is in here? But I don't see Jones. Anderson. Jones. Oh, there he is. Sentenced to four years for multiple crimes, including possession and drunken disorderly behaviour. Hmm. Interesting. So it's five years. His sentences are definitely not being uh, served concurrently, because otherwise he'd only be in for four years. But uh, yeah, interesting. He hasn't really done too much, I guess. I mean, violent disorder. I mean, possession. It's not supply, I guess. So who's next? Jensen. I wonder if it's Adam Jensen. No, it's another backer. Oh my god. <laughs> There's quite a few BJ question marks, friends. I assume that was like a hyphenated O. And uh, the system couldn't like read it or something like that. The Ferryman. So, Scandinavian ex Jagger turned college li librarian used to. Uh, used to following strict work guidelines for no fail attitude, quick and neatly decapitated the student who fell to whisper silently enough. <laughs> Weapon of choice: a two-inch letter opener. <laughs> yes, I think this guy is certainly, you know, high security. Look at that. He's a, uh, he is a mastermind murderer. Or well, not mastermind murderer, but certainly a vicious murderer. Even though he's a, uh... oh wow. He's done quite a fair bit of piracy there. Perjury and burglary. Hmm. But uh, because of that, even though it didn't show up him, you will get max security. Just because that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> I wish there was a button you can click next and go through them. So, oh, he's Pierce next. Sentence three years for video game piracy. Burglary, burglary, uh, blackmail, burglary, fraud, inside trading. Hmm. 
so, you know. Theft is a big thing for him. And video game. Oh, he only did that once. So who's next? Featherstone. Richard Featherstone. Five years for fraud and perjury. And before that, he done forgery, perjury, forgery, and uh, fraud and bribery. Bribery. Blah. So, uh, I mean, he's uh, he served what ten, nineteen years in prison already, and he's got another uh, eleven years to add to that. You can see here, we haven't actually found one that's only done one offence so far. Can't wait. Sentence two years for video game pricing. Possession and tents are supply. Quite serious. The rest of these are minor. He's done a fair few crimes in his day as well. I think he served. Mm. Yeah, he served a lot longer than the last guy. Pennington. Wow, one year for voyeur voyeurism. And he's done that before as well. Interesting. He's a uh, serial voyeurism. A voyeur. I believe that's how it's said. Fraud and burglary before that. Interesting. So he's 34 as well. I haven't been naming the ages, but oh well. Samuel Crispy Taco Fury. Of Furia. So, Samuel Crispy Taco Furia was detained after slaughtering the byproducts of his cloning experiment beneath a children's hospital. Mmm. He's a mad scientist. He refused to share his crackers and the clones became aggressive. He then beat them to death with a crowbar. <laughs> wow. So this is a mad scientist who's been arrested or is serving a sentence for car theft. Before that, he's done uh, false accounting twice, counterfeiting currency, forgery and carjacking. Trust him. So he's our master scientist here. Certainly, that's quite an entertaining one. Hopefully, there's a few more of them left. Boy, yeah. Eight years for pickpocketing and perjury. Before that, burglary on two accounts and fraud. Quite light. Well, and medium offences. I want granular next. There you are. Ooh. Pizza. Grampy Granul, known for his several murders and various first person shooters and other games. However, things got bad when killing other people in video games became a serious crime. He also likes trains. <laughs> <sighs> and we actually have one that's properly related indie video game piracy. And as we know, guys, oh, he's already served that. But uh, still, there's a chance he could do it again in prison. <laughs> So, max security. This crime can never go unpunished. And counterfeiting currency. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Where am I at? Where, where are you? Oh, I just moved you, that's right. Uh, Trish. Six years of blackmail. Before that, inside trading, robbery, and money laundering. He served a fair few years in prison. Wow, 20... 31 years, I think? With another six more to add to that. Eater. Uh, Godwin. Gross indecency. Before that, <laughs> wow, three years. Shoplifting, robbery, and pickpocketing. Didn't the last guy only have one year for that? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he did. Hmm. Eaton, sentenced to three years of false accounting. He's done a uh, possession intent to supply, drunk disorderly behaviour, forgery and counterfeiting currency. Interesting. Sandy, what do you do next? Dangerous drug. Dr oh, wow, you've done a few, a fair few. But still not number one. Dangerous driving. Dangerous death by dangerous driving, bribery, possession, intent to supply, robbery, false accounting, for a fraud, and forgery. So he has racked up a fair few years in prison, indeed. Jetson. Or Brett Jetsam. Where are you, Jetsam? Jetsam. David Fishy Jetsam. One of the ringleaders of an attempted villain, uh, Coop. 
at Walt, <laughs> Walt Disney World. Personally responsible for deaths of Nemo and friends. Only comment in crime was blank. <laughs> they, they seem to comment blankly on stuff, don't they? Money laundering for nine years, blackmail for nine years, vandalism one year, vandalism one year, false accounting five years, and counterfeiting currency two years. So he's done a fair few crimes in his past, and now money laundering. Hmm. I guess he hasn't quite been tried for that. Maybe he's currently in the process of being tried and just being detained here. Who knows? Eaton again. We have two Eatons. Where is second Eaton? Mark Eaton. Eight years for gross indecency. Jeez. Never got any for three years. For that, voyeurism, robbery, fraud, vandalism, blackmail. He's obviously not a stranger to uh, prison cells at all. Hancock. 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 Gareth Hancock. Sentenced to one year for multiple crimes, including voyeurism and perjury. So he's got four years sentence for his two crimes, and before that he is Jesus, he's committed a ton of perjuries. Wow. 5, 15, 25 years perjury. 25 years he's committed, he's been in jail for perjury. And another three more to add to that. So, Oif. Nathan Squeaker Oif. Caught having sex with a sofa in his de dentist uh, waiting room. Huh. Drunk and disorderly behaviour. Maybe he was drunk when he did it. Uh, got that twice. Two accounts of that. And possession with intent to supply. Obviously not a stranger to the prison cells. Forgery, burglary, and perjury. Three accounts of forgery there. He's a... Uh, Wow, that is a that one's just straight up. The other ones have a little biographies of the characters, but that this one, this is just straight up. So, oh, oh we just did Simpson, the last of our prisoners. There's Simpson. Simpson. There you are. Mark Simpson. Forty-one years. Sentenced to nine years for possession, intent to supply. For that he's done counterfeit currency, inside training you <gasps> I said no, I don't want to search the prison, I'm maximum security, straight off the bat. And video game priority for two years. So uh that's everyone in our prison. So I think we're gonna end this we end this video here. I mean we, that took a while, I think. And um we'll come back and next time we will decorate we'll decorate this one here. Yeah. So I'll see you guys later.